Hey guys, what's up? It's Lucia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are organizing more of my apartment and I got a shit ton of boxes over there that I need to unbox. So I'm really excited to make more progress on the apartment. If you haven't already seen the other video that I made, I did a part one where I organized my bathroom, some parts of the kitchen, and that bookshelf that I have over there. And I've been accumulating all of these packages all week and been procrastinating opening them up. So we are gonna do an unboxing, see what the F is in those boxes because I honestly don't remember and then just seeing how everything looks in the space and organizing it together. I'm so excited. This is probably one of my favorite series that I've ever done because it's really motivating me to do this. So thanks for hanging out with me while I do this. If you have any ideas, please comment down below. There's definitely gonna be another part three, maybe even four. So subscribe so you don't miss it. I post a new video every Tuesday. So yay, let's get to organizing. I don't think I've ever had this many boxes to unbox at one time. Yeah, this is a lot. Let's tackle this. I've been listening to the new 1975 album and the new Taylor Swift album, Midnights. I haven't listened to a new Taylor Swift album in full since 1989. I was a Swiftie in high school and I kind of haven't really been the past few years, but it's really good. I'm pretty sure this is painting. I'm so scared I'm gonna mess it up. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. We have this kind of nature theme going on in the apartment, which I feel like really grounds me. This is so cute. We have a frame for it somewhere in all of this. Oh my God, okay, yeah. This is the frame. I feel like the color is a little bit different than what they advertised. I thought it was going to be a little bit grayer. This is, oh, okay, this is actually PR. Cute though. I love when they send a little handwritten note. There are these gluten free little cookie things. Yay, I love getting PR, especially food PR. Okay, this box has these large storage bags that eventually I'm gonna use for the coat closet organization. I don't think I'm gonna get to that today, but we'll see. I keep pushing off the coat closet. I need to do it, I need to do it. And then this is a screwdriver drill set because I have two sets of floating shelves that I need to put up that I've also been procrastinating. Ow, ow. <gasps> it's the floor lamp. How is it in here? Oh my God, this is gonna require some assembly. Okay, this is kind of heavy, but this is my floor lamp. So we're gonna have to assemble this in a little bit. Whew. Okay, I feel like you guys need to see how big this is. It's like the largest box I've ever seen in my life. Ah! We are doing this, you guys. This is the bottom of the chair. I think it just came completely assembled, which is amazing. But I feel like I need to put some, what are those things called? I don't know. Oh! They're called felt pads, I guess. And I only have these really giant ones. Hmm. So... For now, we're just gonna flip it over and see what happens. Damn, this is so cozy. I love it. And I wanted this to be my bedroom chair, so let's figure out how it's gonna work in there. This is about to get so upgraded. So let's see if the new one fits. We got it there without scratching the floor. And I was really worried that this was gonna be too low for the chair, but honestly, it seems fine. I'm really not gonna be using it as a desk too much, only when I need to take calls and stuff like that. The only thing is that I do feel like it's a little bit crowded next to the nightstand. I guess I can try putting it over there. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Okay, my initial thoughts, I like it over here. Let's see how the desk looks. What if I put this in here? I actually kind of like this so much better. I feel like this side looks a lot less cramped and open. I just had another thought. What if I leave the acrylic desk on this side when I'm not using it and then the chair is just there alone? I honestly feel like that looks so nice and balances out the space even better. Let me know what you think. I know it's a little different. And now we're gonna do the picture. That was really satisfying. Now it's time to take the picture. I don't think I've ever framed something this large before on my own. Yeah, I believe for the longest time I would just put up posters without a frame. Now I'm realizing that doesn't really fly in adult interior design. I love it so 
much. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Okay, now let's just figure out how to hang it up on the wall. My boyfriend is the one that hung up these, so I really have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I've somehow found the nails in the mess of a coat closet we got going on. I vaguely remember my boyfriend not having a hammer. I'm not sure what he used instead. I think he used these dumbbells that I had. I don't know. Let's look. Oh, I think this is what he used. It's more like a mallet. You guys, the gold closet scares me. I don't want to do it. But I will, I will. Also, this cart, if you know, you know. There's two nails already up here, but I just don't think that they're big enough to support this because it's a pretty big frame. Oh, well, wait, it's working. That was so easy. I feel like it's fine. I mean, it's not a massive picture, but I'll just maybe ask my boyfriend when he gets home to look at it more i'm obsessed it fits with the bookshelf really really nicely if you remember before that's where the calendar used to be and it was just too overwhelming for me and i wanted something more peaceful and zen colorful fun because it takes up such space in this room and i love it i feel like it makes me so much happier already i got it from a small business on etsy so i'll link it down below too if you want the same painting okay next up is assembling my floor lamp which is very daunting not gonna lie but first i think i just need to clear the space i have an insane amount of boxes on the ground and i gotta clean her up and then after since it's so nice outside i think i'm gonna go get some fresh air maybe make a run to target treat myself to an acai bowl and just get out a little bit and then come back and do the floor lamp so let's hit it It's like a snowstorm in here, it's so chaotic. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back from my errands. It was so nice outside. I'm like, I don't want this day to end. It's so beautiful. We got so lucky with the weather this weekend. I'm obsessed. And I need to set up my floor lamp now. And I wanna make some coffee, but I just bought decaf K-cups from Trader Joe's yesterday. And I really wanna try them out because I've already had a real cup of coffee this morning. And it's already 4.19. Wow, it's getting late. So I don't wanna have more caffeine. I just love the taste of coffee. So I'm excited to try these. I actually don't know if I've ever had decaf have coffee when they have options i just always get the caffeinated one mm. all right moment of truth it's not bad it's not as good as the coffee that i usually have but i think it's more of a flavor thing and less to do with the actual caffeine but this is the only decaf one that they have at trader joe's so cheers and let's tackle this floor lamp okay let's do this it only has six assembly instructions doesn't seem awful. I don't even think I need any tools. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I am queen of never looking at the directions. I just, I hate reading directions. If you work for any sort of assembly instructions company, make it one page, this is awesome. Ooh. I'm obsessed with this bodysuit, by the way. It's from Set Active, so flattering, I love it. Only took me 30 minutes, but we did it. The only thing is that it didn't come with a light bulb, so we're gonna have to get that. So I can't turn it on, but at least it'll look really pretty. So let's figure out where I wanna put it. Okay, this is the state of the living room right now. But when we get our new couch, this couch is actually gonna go against the windows. So we were thinking we would put the floor lamp here. Cute. Now I just need to figure out what to put on the shelf. I just found three things that I think would go well here. They were just in random spots in the apartment. Honestly, kind of hidden. I wasn't really using them. I guess I'll just try doing it like largest to smallest. I actually really like 
like it. It's cute. It goes well with the colors of the living room, at least for now. I think it looks good. Next, I need to figure out where this mirror is going to go because I had this in my room on the wall where my chair now is. I kind of want to put this in the living room instead. So I'm thinking like, honestly, I can just put it here in this corner by where the TV usually is. We just have the TV in the room, but we're going to get a bigger TV to put here for Black Friday. Yeah, let me see what it looks like just there. Okay, this is a hard one. I really like it here, but it covers up the AC. This is the, the control that we use for the heater. I don't think that's gonna fly. It's gonna be really annoying. Maybe I can find a way to twist it a little bit. This right there is an awful. I honestly just can't think of any other space that is gonna be better. This way we can still touch the air and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Behind me is a mess right now. I'm gonna clean all of this up. cleaned everything up. I think that's all I'm gonna get to tonight. I'm so happy with how everything is turning out and I'm so proud of myself for building the floor lamp. If you are assembling furniture, you got this. I can't wait to see how everything pieces together. I just wrote down a few things that I need to order. I need some more frames for some more prints I'm gonna hang up. I need a basket to hold my blankets. Next time, I'm hopefully gonna tackle the coat closet finally, put up all of my floating shelves. So I have some floating shelves on the ground here I wanna put up and also the ones in my bathroom. Hang up some more prints and hopefully Hopefully the couch will come in, fingers crossed. And I'm just feeling so happy and grateful. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I am. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next Tuesday for another video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. It means the world to me. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm always posting story updates. And I do a lot of Q&As on there too, which is really fun. Yay, okay, I love you guys. Bye.